so pleased to see this crowd come out to support business, support economic development, because the bottom line in Catawba County is all about jobs. And I want to commend the chamber and the staff and all the, all the membership in terms of supporting this type of initiative and allowing us the opportunity to highlight the future as we look at some great opportunities moving forward. The person I'd like to introduce to you now is the chair of the Edison Project Program. And let me tell you, Bill Parrish has worked tirelessly on this effort. And I'd like for you all to join me in welcoming Bill Parrish to the podium and thank him for his efforts. Thank you, uh, Dr. Henshaw. Thank you all for being here this evening. I will share with you something that I know you're going to see a, another taste of, some excitement. I am excited. I'm excited for what we are doing here. I'm excited for what the Chamber has stepped forward to do. And I'm excited because of the recognition of entrepreneurship and entrepreneurs in Catawba County and the greater region. I want to share with you just a couple of thoughts before I introduce uh, uh, someone very special to me, and that is that I truly believe that we are in, and have been for a little while, the age of the entrepreneur. We have a lot of opportunities before us. Some of those have been uh, involuntary, so I'd say that we have entrepreneurs by choice, and we also have entrepreneurs by necessity. But people in this area are hardworking people. They're very creative. They're very diligent. And you're seeing the fruits of that as you look around you. You will see proof of that this evening. In Catawba County, and in many counties across the country and the state, economic development is looking more and more toward entrepreneurship for growth and development, rightly so. The Edison Project is an initiative originally of the Catawba Chamber, and I applaud Danny Hearn for his tireless efforts to make this happen and to go out and approach sponsors and others to build the momentum, which he did. I appreciate the efforts of the board of the Catawba Chamber. We have representatives from that board here with us tonight, Scott Anderson, Mike Black and others. The Chamber recently recognized eight entrepreneurs. In fact, they recognized nine from promising applications that came forward. Eight of those nine will be presenting here tonight and telling you, sharing with you the exciting news that they have, their vision and their dream. Let me mention that the one that will not be here is not for lack of of wanting to. He will still be here. In fact, he is our first applicant for next year. But because of family commitments, a job change, and building a home, and I think a new baby, he said, Bill, this is not the perfect time for me. But he was very excited and hated to drop out. I want to share with you a little bit about the, uh, the, the, the structure that we have in the program. Uh, I mentioned that we took the best, the cream of the crop that came forward with applications. We had assembled, and I see several of them here tonight, we had assembled a group of mentors and coaches. All of those are business experts. Some of them are retired business executives, some are exited entrepreneurs, and some are continuing in that endeavor. But they all have a great deal of background and experience. They looked at the nominations, they analyzed the prospects of those nominations, and they took the best of the bunch. You are going to see eight of those tonight. The next step, those entrepreneurs had to prepare an executive summary. That executive summary had to capture the essence of their idea. How many of you have had to write an executive summary for a project or something? It's not easy, is it? It's heavy lifting. Every word counts. Based upon that, and based upon the prospects that these judges uh, allocated to those, they were then invited to write a business plan. All of them have written a complete business plan. 
the next day, and, that, and those business plans were judged by the, uh, the mentors and coaches. The next step in that process, they presented a 15-minute presentation to a panel representing from across North Carolina private, private investors, fund managers, angel fund managers, commercial lenders. That is hard. Those folks know how to ask the tough questions, and they did. Danny was in the room, he saw that. To stand before a group of investors and angels and commercial lenders and share your idea, and then for five or six minutes, answer their questions, tough questions. That was stage two. Then they finalized their business plan, incorporating much of the feedback, much of the questions that they received from this uh, panel and submitted those for final judgment. Tonight you are seeing the third leg of that, and that's presentation to the general public. Much harder than a 15-minute presentation is a five-minute presentation. You remember, some of you remember, I'm a big fan of Mark Twain, and he said at one time, he said, I would have written a shorter letter, but I didn't have time. That's hard work, that's heavy lifting, as I said before. So we're going to uh, share with you those presentations, but before we do, oh, and, and I left out something very important. In addition, we have sponsors that found this so important to, Co to Catawba County that they have made possible with contributions the allocation of prize funds. So we have $10,000 in recognition awards that money is to go toward furthering the vision of the dream in the launch of the enterprise. Remember, these are all seed and or early stage companies. So first place will get $5,000, second place will get $3,000, and third place will get $2,000. In addition to the cash awards, there are scholarships for two programs. One of the programs is a Kaufman Foundation Fast Track, and that's delivered at the CBCC Small Business Center, Bonnie Sweetie, heads that program up and has other entrepreneurs, local entrepreneurs, and, and I just saw a couple come in uh, that uh, are even involved in that program. So, well, in addition to that program, there's a scholarship provided for becoming an investor-ready entrepreneur. That's an SBTDC program delivered well, now in 14 states, uh, but primarily in North Carolina. Just got back from a presentation in San Diego uh, to a room full of uh, national business consultants in the area of capital formation. And most important, we have a commitment of these business coaches and mentors for the next 12 months to continue working with these entrepreneurs to ensure that they've got the best chance for success as they move forward. So that's how we've designed the program and laid it out. You'll see more of that tonight. And what I would like to do now is to recognize our sponsors. Our presenting sponsor is Alex Lee Incorporated. Boy George was kind enough to support this. And I suppose that of all the com companies in North Carolina that represent the fine, and there are many, there are so, so many in North Carolina, it's an entrepreneurial state. But Alex Lee Incorporated is among the very best. Next year, I think I'm correct, next year will be their 80th year in business. We appreciate that. We also have, uh, uh, and I'm gonna ask that these folks come up here. We've got a representative from, uh, from Alex Lee, if they would come up. I'm not sure if they uh, were able to do so, to be here. Uh, the next one is Pat Elmore of Century Link, helping to support entrepreneurs throughout North Carolina and very committed to the development Catawba County and the entire region. Dr. Garrett Henshaw, if you will come back up here, where are you? here you are. He was cheering on the Mountaineers this weekend. He did a great job, too. Chairperson uh, Kitty Barnes, I know she's here. I spoke with her earlier. Uh, I think uh, Commissioner Dan Hunsucker could not be here tonight, but uh, he, he had hoped to, and he's very supportive of the program. Barbara is here. Barbara Beatty is here tonight. And Ms. Lynn Lale, I haven't seen uh, uh, Ms. Lale, but uh, she's
She's also a, a county commissioner here doing a great job, which we really, really appreciate the hard work that you do. Stay here, Kelly. Scott Millar, I haven't seen Scott, but I know I saw Nathan here. Here he comes. So many of you have seen the hard work that these folks, that, that team over at the EDC, the Economic Development Commission, uh, do day in and day out. I would say night in, because I get emails from him at 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, so I know he works hard. And also, I want to ask Danny Hearn. Where's Danny? He may have run off to hide because he didn't know I was going to do this. Danny, are you in the, in the period? At my age, my vision is challenged. I didn't see you sitting there, Danny. Danny is the visionary who birthed this program and pushed so hard for the program to become a reality and wouldn't take no for an answer. And I will tell you, I didn't, I didn't hold out great promises for him with this program. He wouldn't stop, and he didn't stop, and he hasn't yet. So now what I would like to, oh, and we've got, we also have, uh, uh, let's see, my, my development team, Gary Moore. Where's Gary? CVCC, he's the business program department head. I know he's here, I talked to him already. Tony Mifsud. Tony is the new business, uh, director of business development at CBCC. Does a great job over there. My personal friend, Bonnie Sweet, is down here. She is the director of the Catawba Valley Business, uh, Catawba Valley Community College Small Business Center. Jeff Newell, is he here? He's Jeff is in Italy and we have him by satellite down right here just in a moment. I'm not sure how sober he is right now, but we'll, we'll find out. My colleague Kevin McConaughey, right down here in the uh, in the front seats. Byron Higgs could not be here tonight. He's over at CBCC uh, as we speak. We also have some uh, some members who have lent their hand. Tom Frenier, I haven't seen Tom Frenier tonight. Uh, recognize these and you can remain here. Uh, Tom Shea, I see Tom back there. Thank you very much, Tom. Mike and Dooney, I saw him tonight. This guy takes my money on the golf course regularly, but thank you very much, Mike, for being here. Come on up. Yes, please. And uh, Rufus Walker. Is Rufus here tonight, Danny? Could he be here? Okay. I, I will tell you where Mike went to college because it's very dear to my heart being an Appalachian State University alum. He went to Michigan. We love Michigan. Okay, now what I would like to do is to, to ask uh, Chairman Barnes to come down, please. We're going to recognize all eight of these champions. Well, there are more than eight, but eight companies. I'm going to ask each of you to please come up uh, as I read your name. Derek Detweiler of Gopher Studios that develops high quality web games in HTML5 that have been highlighted by Google in the US and SPIL in uh, games in Europe. Thank you. 